Amazon has now openly admitted to handing off footage from their ring doorbells to the police without permission from the owners of the doorbells and without warrants. And they've done this 11 times this year alone. Amazon acknowledged this a very scary fact. In a letter to Senator Ed Markey last month, Ed Markey wrote to Amazon asking it to both clarify Ring's ever expanding relationship with the American police who've increasingly come to rely on the company's growing residential surveillance dragnet and come to commit to a raft of policy reforms. But that's really not what we saw in a July 1st response from Brian Huseman, who's Amazon's vice president of public policy. The company declined to permanently agree to any of them, including never accept financial contributions from policing agencies, never allow immigration enforcement agencies to request ring recordings, and never participate in police sting operations. But you'll notice that this leaves a pretty wide range of videos that the police can turn over. Huseman also disclosed that ring now now lets 2,161 police departments use its neighbors app, five times more than it did in November 2019. Law enforcement officials can use the app to issue alerts and request videos. He said in the letter that Ring complied with those requests from police after making a good faith determination about risk. So let's dig into what they mean by their good faith determination. Although Ring publicizes its policy of handing over camera footage only if the owner agrees or if a judge signs a search warrant, the company says it also reserves the right to supply police with footage in emergencies, defined broadly as cases involving imminent danger of death or serious physical injury to any person. They provided really no details as to what cases or rings good faith determination entailed. And in response, Ed Markey put out quite a good statement. He said, as my ongoing investigation into Amazon illustrates, it has become increasingly difficult for the public to move, assemble, and converse in public without being tracked and recorded. We cannot accept this as inevitable in our country. Increasing law enforcement reliance on private surveillance creates a crisis of accountability. So there are privacy experts that are warning us that yes, there might be some circumstances that warrant Ring actually turning over the footage to the police where there's an emergency and someone's life is in danger. But there are also many circumstances in which the police may abuse this ability of getting the footage from Amazon, the company directly. We have Matthew Guarglia, an Electronic Frontier Foundation policy analyst with The Intercept saying, if there is the infrastructure, there is the channel by which police can request footage without a warrant or consent of the user. Under what circumstances they get it is out of our control. I worry that because it's decided by police and by somebody at ring, there will be a temptation to use that for increasingly less urgent situations. So really good work by Ed Markey writing this letter out to other folks. And this response is, is kind of devastating, kind of damning. Jank, what do you think? So first of all about ring. Told you, okay. I don't know if Mark and I discussed it on old school once. If you remember, though, you can check it out and find out tyt.com slash join if you go member. Anyways, but I've I've been I'm not in favor of the ring. I never got it. I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with it. Why? It's constantly monitoring you 24 seven in your own home. And do you know that the audio and the video from Ring go way beyond the door? So if you're walking by somebody's house, it might pick you up. The both the video and the audio. And then turn it over to the cops when you never consented to any of that. That's insane. Look, everything has a a device that listens to you now. The Peloton does. My wife bought a mirror with an internet connection and a camera. Why? (laughs) Why? Anyway, so apparently I didn't agree with that person. So (laughs) now you know that. Okay. Anyways, um, so gee, I wish there was a standard by which we could tell if a company should turn over uh, private information to the authorities. Oh Yeah, there is it's called a warrant. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that standard. By the way, like, oh, we had to do it in an emergency. My ass you did. And warrants can go out super quick. People do, uh, cops have been doing warrants for decades. And if there's a murderer out there and it's not ring, it's something else. You know what they get? Oh, they gotta go bust into some guy's house, they get a warrant. That's your. That's the process. There's no ambiguity at all. There's no reason to go around the courts unless you're doing really weird, really wrong stuff. Okay, so 
the way to and so that that's why when they say they were doing a good faith determination about risk, I thought, who's risk? No, what they mean by that is risk to Amazon. Well, if we don't comply with the authorities, maybe uh, you know we have trouble with them, and that could cost our company. And remember, Amazon has tons of contracts with the government, and so they don't want to endanger those contracts. Versus uh, what? Now, this is an important part. Versus how customers will react to this news once it's found out. Well, now you should react by not using Ring, because apparently they're using it to spy in on you without your permission or a court order. And that's called capitalism, punish them. Well, as per usual, Cenk has really happened on the two key aspects to this. One of which is the warrant. They're in place already is the way you can get this information, video, whatever it might be. And as Cenk also, I think, correctly identified, you can call in a warrant. You don't have to go to the courthouse and go, it, it happens in an instant. And so with that already in place, it's indefensible that you would just surrender this information at the request of a company or 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 by the way at a law enforcement authorities and this brings me to the second point which I I I'm glad Jank brought to the fore which is you know these companies have a vested interest in relationships with municipalities and with big governments. So Amazon on the grand level, Jack alluded to it, has tremendous interest, I mean huge contracts with the US government. And so they need positive relationships, but it goes all the way down to small municipalities. You want a good relationship with those small governments. And so there is almost a, a knee jerk reaction when it comes to those requests on the part of law enforcement to give up the information, to give up the video. That leaves us ring users in a, in a pretty weak position. Uh, the problem is it's an extremely popular technology that works really well. And as a result, there's a proliferation of this technology. So when Cenk, you say, hey, you know what? You just don't sign up for ring anymore. It, I think in a way the horse is out of the barn. I, I, I wonder what static can be made. I think Marky's making some of it. Uh, what static can be made to bring public attention to the city, media attention to this issue? I love that it's on TYT. I'd love to see it talked about in more and more places because, and in more and more platforms. Because you're right, this is a violation of privacy. And it's a violation of privacy that we don't even know about. I mean, it's outrageous. And this really is part of something, the slow creep almost of giving up our rights of privacy as citizens in the United States, a fundamental aspect of living in this country. Yeah, now you have to, you also have to think, why didn't they get a warrant? Because a warrant is easy to get, it's standard operating procedure. And if you have a real urgent situation, getting the warrant is even easier. So if they didn't want to get a warrant, there might be a reason why they didn't want to get a warrant. Oh, I am looking for a really dangerous person. Uh, that uh, maybe came by uh, some uh, guy's house that I know. Oh, look, it's my wife. Oh, what a coincidence, right? <laughs> so I don't know why they're not going to a court, but I would look at any time they ask to uh, get private information without a warrant, I would be 10 times more dubious that it was legitimate. It's likely to be the most illegitimate ask. And, and look, finally for me, I kept getting these ads all over my desktop, and I think even my phone, because I looked it up in both places, for like safari hats and old school hats and fezes. Like, why is my computer racist and think that I want fezes because I'm Turkish, right? So I'm like, I couldn't understand why I'm getting these ads. And I was like, oh, right. I looked up fezes for a fun segment we were going to do on old school. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> And so it's been serving me those ads for weeks. And now, okay, fine, whatever, it's trying to sell me a vest that I don't want. I was making fun of it, okay? That's not that big a deal. But what if they hand over all of your information about all of the searches you did online to the police? Because it was such an important emergency that they couldn't get a warrant for it. Now, this is super dangerous. There's a, there's a documentary called Terms and Conditions May Apply, and I recommend it. It's now in maybe 10 years old now, but the essential aspects of that film really apply to what we're talking about. And that is when you hit that terms and conditions and you agree to it, you agree to it on iTunes, you agree to it on Amazon. As Jenk said, they track your, 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 as you cruise the internet, all that stuff's being tracked. And we 
tacitly or explicitly agree to things and you can't opt out of that's a problem with this ring situation. You can't opt out of what's happening now. You if you have the ring unit, you're going to succumb to the very thing that they were that we're talking about. But I think it what's interesting about this film is it makes the case for the fact that the government or any law enforcement agency can actually create their own case based on a constellation of searches that you've done. So in the case that Cenk was just relating, if you wanted to build some case for, I don't know, anything from a garden variety terrorism to some big federal case, you might be able to do it based on misconstruing the search data. I recommend the film, Terms and Conditions Will Apply, I believe it's so. And it was a documentary about 10 years ago and it speaks to exactly this point. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.